Hi friends, Tracy Bish here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to Tracy's Sunday Challenge, the 3rd of March. Can't believe it's March already. This week's theme is food, and I'm using the Cake Fancy stamp set. You can find that in the mini catalog, page 30. Um, it's a really cute stamp set. So I'm doing a very, very simple one layer card. I've got my basic white thick card base. I'm just, um, this is A4, so I'm scoring in half and then cutting in half. I'm going to do a quick burnish of that score line. Um, always use your basic white thick as your card base. It's a lot sturdier than the regular basic white and um, gives it a really good substance to your card base. Um, you could certainly add extra layers to this card. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. I do make a few mistakes in this and you'll see that as I go along um, maybe things that I wish if I was making it again I wouldn't do um, but you know that's just the way it is. So I have bubble bath, fresh freesia, highland heather, uh, gorgeous grape and I'm also using the purple posy ink. Um, this is a retired colour but um, I wanted to use an, a bit of an array of purples for this card and you know what purple posy was there and you know it's a really pretty purple as well so in the stamp set um, it's a photopolymer stamp set which makes it really easy to layer your stamps together because you can layer these up to be as big of a cake or as small of a cake as you like um, there's all sorts of different icings you've got candles you've got um, piped icing, uh, flowers, leaves, all sorts of little things and some really great sentiments in this as well. Oh and there's even a um, like a ribbon that you can put on your cake as well so really cute. So I'm just layering each of my um, cake layers together. I'm using my stamp and scrub now this is a really really great tool to have in your stash um, one side is a wet side, the other side is a dry side. So you're going to spray your stamping mist um, on the wet side and this will clean and condition your stamps. So once you've cleaned them, you move it over to the dry side and um, you dry your stamp off. Absolutely amazing tool. It lasts a very long time because once you have lots of ink on the stamp and scrub, you can then just run it under cold water, um, maybe a little dish soap or, you know, hand soap clean it off, let it dry and it's ready to be used again. Actually I think I'm going to go and buy myself a second one because I've been using it so much lately that when I um, have to clean it I have to use wipes and that um, while it's drying and I don't really like using wipes anymore for my stamps because it leaves that residue of the wipes. Anyway so we're layering up with all our colours here um, right up to the very light isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So the actual cake layer there has um, like shadings in there. So although it looks like maybe I haven't stamped it quite properly on the card, it actually is stamped well. It's It just has that visual effect of um, like a layer. So super cool. And then I'm going to come in with my uh, flowers here. So I've got a mixture of some flowers, some leaves. Um, just to place on top of the card and I'm just using the same colors that we've used for our cake Now this is bubble bath and as you can see this is so so light with the flowers I'm going to come back in and add a different color. I think fresh freesia over the top um, Just because it was just too light to be able to see so you know this card would look really good in maybe a rainbow color card um, a rainbow color cake um, but you know you could do so many different color co combos um, to create your cake and I've gone off with the side of my card you could also pop this right in the center now, if you'd like to see different samples using this set go to page 30 of your catalog there are a few cards there that are absolutely beautiful and um, gives you a little bit of an idea on how to use that set so the catalog is one of those things that um, gives you so many different ideas of how to use it now you can case straight from the catalog or maybe change up the colors um, you know do different things but it's a great source of inspiration there so here I have my sentiment the birthday wishes I'm thinking about maybe stamping it in uh, my purple 
I'm going to change my mind. And this is where I sort of think, well, maybe I should have just stamped it in the purple and left it. Um, you know, or I could have just heat embossed it with the copper. But it's what I do after that that I'm not too keen with. But that's okay. We'll keep going and you can tell me at the end of the card what you think. So I'm just going to stamp these little centers of, um, they're for the, the flowers. They're um, just a bunch of little circles for the center of the flowers. I've stamped them around with the Versamark ink and I thought, you know, that it would give me a little bit of a effect of having some embellishments on there. As you can see, I obviously either need to re-ink my Versamark or I didn't stamp too well. I, I've never actually used that stamp before and usually I will clean my stamps before using them and I didn't on that one so I think that had a little bit of an effect of why it didn't stamp so well so I've brought back in I've just wiped that all off because it didn't stick down enough to worry about so we're going to heat emboss with the copper powder embossing powder um, the sentiment so stamping with the Versamark and then popping the powder over the top we're going to use the heat tool to create that um, to melt the powder and make it go nice and glossy now I do come back in with that little cluster of circles and stamp the inside of those flowers on the cake which you know look good as well and I think if I left it exactly that way that would be fine um, but of course I go with those embellishments by stamping them and heat embossing elsewhere and um, that's where I wish I hadn't done it but you know how beautiful is this so far you know if I'd left it like this absolutely gorgeous now it will warp your cardstock because we're only using one layer of cardstock it will warp a little bit you can counteract that by heat embossing sorry heating up the other side of the cardstock that will help to um, really even it out a little bit as well. So here we go. We're going to bring in um, and stamp those little circles again. Honestly, I think it looks so elegant exactly the way it is. Um, and I'm not real keen on this extra embellishment, but I did it. And, you know, you can't take it back. I wasn't going to create the card again. So it's just um, one of those things when you're creating, sometimes you need to tell yourself to stop earlier than you do. <laughs> But anyway, um, I would love it if you joined in this week's challenge. So the challenge theme is food. You can create a card using any one of our stamp sets that has food or, you know, um, any design that you would like. And I would love it if you joined in. All you need to do is take a photo of your card and then pop on over to my business Facebook page, find the challenge theme, and then you can put your com your card in the comments section. So please share your card that you're creating and inspire others and if you want to go over there and check out what everyone else is creating that would be awesome as well now if you're in need of any of these supplies and you would like to get your hands on this cake fancy stamp set you can certainly purchase them in my online store um, i have some great specials for all my customers each month so if you use the host code um, which is in the description of this video um, over in my online store I will send you a handmade card as well as the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle and if you spend over $65 in product before shipping I'll also pop in March's bundle tutorial as well as a free gift so um, lots of inspiration there so as you can see we know I've stamped the inside of the flowers which looks good We've embossed the sentiment and I've added a few extra layers there as well. Um, like I said, I probably should have stopped just before that, but it's fine. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope um, that you've enjoyed today's card. Um, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love it if you hit the um, subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. You can also share this video with your family and friends. Um, I've also got the, um, whew, that is from the Lavender Sweet um, embellishments. I'm just going to pop a few of those down, um, which I think, actually I don't think I even popped any of them down. I think I looked at both of those and then decided against it. I've actually already given this card away, so I don't even have the card in front of me 
to um, to work out what I've got. Oh, there we go. Maybe I put a few of these down. I'm pretty sure I take them off because I didn't like the look of them. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And um, I would love it if you joined in the challenge. Come over and share your creativity with us all. And yeah, here we are. We're going to take it off. <laughs> um, which is fine. All right, everyone. Have an amazing weekend. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you back here again soon. All right. Bye-bye.